Tone News, bringing you the news just days after it's happened. In sporting news, the Yankees continue their splendiferous winning streak. It's Game 3 of the World Series. Bottom of the ninth, the Yankees down by three. Bases loaded. Babe Ruth steps up to the plate. Will the Sultan of Swat save the day? You betcha! So what's Napoleon Cross, owner of the Chicago Cubs, going to do now? With his best bat darling in his hands, Babe Ruth is unstoppable. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth and his best bat darling. He's everywhere. Every newsreel, every newspaper talks about Babe Ruth. Look at all this stuff. Babe Ruth Sippy Cup. Babe Ruth Silver Dollars. Babe Ruth Underpants. Obviously for the larger child. What's he got that I haven't got? He's got a World Series trophy! And I won one! Is that too much to ask? No, not at all. Why don't you put me back in, Mr. Cross? I'll help you win that trophy. I'm working on a new pitch. I call it... <laughs> are you ready? The Booger Ball. <clears throat> oh, Steve, with your most outrageous cheating, you're no match for Babe Ruth. Cheating? Me? Babe Ruth's the cheater. I bet he's got some lucky voodoo charm or something. That's cheating. You're right, Lefty. Babe Ruth does have a lucky charm. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's his bat. So what do we do? I'll tell you what we do. We take away his bat. Let's do the math. Babe without bat is nothing! Without that bat, he's just big and fat! <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt! <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Only one problem. How are we going to get Babe Ruth's lucky bat? Not we. You, but Mr. Cross. Uh, get me that bat. Uh, and I think the only way to get it is to steal it. Otherwise... Yeah!